I love the yoga philosophy, I love the Kriya, the cleansing practices, I love the meditation, and most of all, I love the movement. You really allow yourself to get to the deeper meaning of what this is truly all about. And so I really try to find a way to blend that physical practice with these more kind of esoteric, more spiritual components of the practice as well. People would see on my resume that you're a mechanical engineer. It's like, why do you want to be a yoga teacher? And I'd have to kind of dance between and try to find a way to marry the two. And I feel that in a lot of ways, there's a lot of ways that my background complements what I do now. But I really needed an advanced degree that really spoke to what I'm doing now. And for me, it was such a vast departure from mechanical engineering where you're all in your head 100% of the time. Um, it was this opportunity to really kind of turn in and really connect to my heart. It has become probably like the most important work that I've done so far in my life. To live out what I've been learning so I can see it and understand it and be able to relate it back within my own practice and with the students in my class and with my private clients that I work with. CIS has proven to be such a tremendous resource. You have this wonderful opportunity to interface with not only your own cohort, the people that are within your own program, but throughout the school and talking to them about their particular practice and their work that they do and, and how it really translates into healing for people or allows them to transform the, their lives in some meaningful way. And so for me, I just felt like, okay, this is totally it, sign me up. <laughs> I was won over. And then the more I found out about the program and the faculty and the curriculum, I knew that it was, it was a perfect fit. Life is too short. You know, you have to really find your passion, find your dream, and commit to it.